everyone, welcome back. This is a overview video about the Enneagram Type 9. It's going to walk you through uh, the childhood experience of the 9 and how the personality um, took shape and then just give you some basics about it and then I'll be releasing videos once a week and each video will be about a different part of the personality so hopefully these videos will help you identify whether or not you are in fact a type 9 or it will help you if you already know that you're a type 9 by giving you information um, that can help you along your way. tuning in. Let's dive into the type nine. So many nines report happy childhoods. And it's not the case always. With more troubled childhoods, young nines learned to cope by dissociating from the threatening and traumatic events around them by adopting the role of peacemaker or mediator during family conflicts. The best way to keep harmony in the family is to disappear and not cause trouble. They learned if they were not demanding and had few expectations, if they were low maintenance, they could protect themselves while calming down mom and dad. The lost child. If I show up and assert myself, I am going to create even more problems, so I stay out of the way and the family will stay together. Nines grew up feeling that having needs, asserting themselves, getting angry, or creating difficulties for their parents was not allowed. Nines never learned to assert themselves or to actualize themselves independently from their parents or significant others. Young nines stay in the background and repress their anger and their own will so completely that they become unconscious of even having anger or a will of their own. They learned to adjust and go along with what everyone else wants. In adulthood, nines' psychic space is so crowded with the information from them pleasing those around them that they don't have the ability to see or act on their own needs or desires. It seldom occurs to nines to voice their opinion or ask themselves what they want or think or feel. Nines can be victims of trauma emotionally, physically, or sexually. Such nines tolerate life by dissociating or shutting down. The dissociation is helpful in that they don't remember the traumatic memories or rage, but the result is widespread deadening, which means they can't feel the good life nor the bad. Such individuals may become lost in fantasies or focus exclusively on whatever is positive and peaceful in their environment, which may turn out to all be an illusion eventually. The childhood message of the nine, it's not okay to assert yourself. Childhood tendencies, being quiet, kind, gentle, and intuitive, taking on the peacemaker role, being compliant, keeping to themselves, and enjoying comforting environments. Nines as children feel ignored and that their wants, opinions, and feelings are unimportant. They tune out a lot, especially when others argue. Our good children deny anger or keep it to themselves. Nines as parents are supportive, kind, and warm. They are sometimes very permissive or non-directive. Core fears of nine being involved in conflict, not having love and support, feeling overlooked or ignored, feeling inferior, not being heard, being thought of as demanding, and being seen as unreasonable. The defense mechanism of nines is narcotization. They unconsciously numb themselves to avoid feelings they fear will overwhelm them. They engage in prolonged rhythmic activities that are familiar and comforting. They maintain daily routines that keep them mentally asleep and numb to their own goals, needs, and desires. They become agitated, irritable, and disoriented when these repetitive activities become disrupted. Nines become sluggish and passive-aggressive when exhausted. Their sin and passion is sloth. Sloth refers to how they don't want to be affected by life's busyness, chaos, and stress. Since they desire peace and harmony, they retreat and get lost in the familiar and rhythmic patterns of their lives. Sloth causes nines to believe it is safer for them to fall asleep to themselves than actually to show up for their own lives. It also causes them to believe their voices don't matter. Therefore, they procrastinate and have a hard time accomplishing tasks. Core Desires of Nines 
to have inner stability, to have peace of mind, to live in a harmonious environment, to feel seen and heard, to be loved and appreciated. Their divine attribute is peace. Their core desire is to be at peace. Their signature sin is sloth. Their core fear is being insignificant. Their heart longs to hear, your presence matters. Their healthy self-image is gentle and friendly. Nines are a part of the gut triad. They are receptive and open-minded. They are reassuring and encouraging. They seek peace to avoid feelings of anger. They lose their own identity by trying to keep harmony. They are attuned to others' feelings and are acutely aware of how others are being perceived. They create environments where others can grow and flourish. They attempt to control their thoughts and feelings in an effort to escape feelings of unease. Nines are peaceful and driven when fulfilling their purpose. Key nine motivations. Creating harmony, establishing peace, refusing demands placed on them, listening to and caring for others, avoiding conflict and tension. Priorities for nines. Keeping a routine and schedule, maintaining a peaceful environment, listening intently to those around them, caring for their family and friends. Please stay tuned for more videos to be released weekly about each of the Enneagram types. Please click subscribe and share this video with anyone that you feel it might benefit. Thank you so much for watching.